Good, and one more. Okay, perfect. Okay, and one more. One more. Uh huh. Perfect. Oh, it's good. Perfect. I love it. So, number seven. Yeah. So what? Okay. So everything with the president? Yes, with the president. Okay. One. Oh, great. And now get a little closer. Don't yes. afraid. Yeah. All right. There you go.
Ahmed Jabba to deliver his speech. Excellencies, dear guests, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to thank our dear guests for honoring us with their presence tonight to celebrate our 64th National Independence Day despite their busy schedule. As I share with you, with you the joy of celebrating this occasion, I assure you our country's commitment to the noble family on which this organization, the United Nations, was founded. We also affirm our adherence to multilateral cooperation as the only way to face the challenges that concern us all. The goals of sustainable development the maintenance of the international peace and security despite the difficulties it faces. The war in this post-COVID area, climate change, the war in Ukraine is facing multiple challenges that require more than ever multilateralism as a mechanism to deal with these challenges. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Mauritania will continue to adhere to his commitment to keep us with these challenges in the cooperation with its regional and international partner to enhance its growth and strengthen its current position. In this regard, I would like to reiterate the principle of our diplomacy and our approach as indicated by the excellent the President of the Republic, His Excellency Mohammed Bouchir Azwani, and I quote, with an active foreign policy and a prominent international and regional presence that takes care of the interests of our state and its citizens abroad and foresee good neighboring, friendly relation, cooperation, and defense of the just causes. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as we are approaching the end of the year, I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Ashkurukum ala khudurikum wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Hello, uh, I would like to welcome you to tonight to the Islamic Republic of Mauritania's reception for the Independence Day at the United Nations headquarters in New York. So we're at the delegates dining room right now for the reception and we'd like to thank the ambassador from the permanent mission of Mauritania to the United Nations. Ambassador, um, here, so thank you tonight for your time and uh, we'd like to celebrate your nation today. And um, so the, the nation of Mauritania has been a wonderful example to the world for being a, a melting pot of wonderful cultures and um, in the Mediterranean, the African tribes and nations and the Islamic culture. So um, could you, Ambassador, tell us, tell the viewers a little bit about the tourism? So people could come and learn more about the country, a wonderful nation of Mauritania. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, I will thank you uh, all the guests who came today to celebrate with us our 62 anniversary of national independence. And as you know, Mauritania is well known as a tourist country. We have many things, particularly in the aspect of historic. And you have a big desert, you have also the coastline. Our country have 750 kilometers on the coastline. You have fantastic uh, beaches, uh, natural beaches, and it's yes. a safe also country for tourists. And we are welcome any visitor and to encourage him to visit Mauritania. That's wonderful. Thank you, Ambassador. And, and for viewers, it's an interesting fact about Mauritania. They are actually one of the few nations in the world, one of the earliest known human civilizations in the world. And since 300 BC has held the same name, which is very rare in nations around the world. So Mauritania has been a wonderful commerce and cultural trading hub 
in the Mediterranean region for thousands of years. And so, Ambassador, could you tell us more for interested investors to, um, about Mauritania and what the major themes and topics that they could learn more about to invest with the country of Mauritania? Uh, as you know, Mauritania it, uh, has a huge territory. Uh, many things has not been yet discovered in Mauritania, but uh, we have many resources in Mauritania. And uh, lastly, we discovered the gas in Mauritania, which many, many companies from United States, from Canada are interesting and coming. We have many, many opportunities in Mauritania, and we encourage all the company to come to invest. And it's, uh, we have the, the, uh, the climate of investment is very attractive and many companies are welcome and they will find all the facility to invest in Mauritania. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you. So yes, as you've heard, um, anyone interested could reach out to the Mauritania um, permanent mission and th there are different uh, locations around the world if about investments and um, and opportunities like that. So thank you, Ambassador, for your time tonight and happy Independence Day. Thank you. Thank I'm you Tiffany Leon Cater and thank you to the thank Ambassador. You, thank you a lot. Thank you.